Good morning, everyone. It's Wynn. It's July 25th, and the MAC race is ending with a parade of boats, just like it began with a parade of boats. If you have the chance, if you're on the island, go down to the finish area now uh, in the next few hours and take a look at what's going on, because we got maybe, I'm guessing here, another 100 boats to finish, and they're all going to finish. Um, the majority of them are going finish to finish in the next maybe three, four hours, something like that. So uh, as we talked about last night, the overall situation is we've definitely had that shift to west wind. And you can see the, the boats are just uh, kind of parading along in that west wind, draw a little bit letter, better line here. That's more like a west wind. Here, I'll make it an arrow, right? West wind, boats are parading along. And um, what is happening here is once they go around, the exit to the Grays Reef Passage, they turn downwind to go this way, and they're jibing back. Remember, boats can't go downwind this way. And again, um, you know, that's a decision that they have to make. When to do that, where to do that with different wind shifts, velocity, and stuff like that. This is suggesting a pretty straight west wind, even though the meteorological observations I'll show you in a second are uh, not necessarily agreeing with the uh, straight west wind. Uh, I believe there's truth in the, in the way the boats are going. You can see some boats choose to kind of go over to this side of the rum line, of the red line. Um, other boats sort of just make a, a right turn and then jibe. And um, just to give everyone an idea of what velocities and speeds are like, uh, you can see there's 10 or 15 boats inside of the bridge right now, but we've got 6.3 knots here, 6.0 knots here, 6.8 knots. So we got some, some decent velocities. Um, Highlighting a couple of, let's find a couple of crowns that are on the race course still here. So we've got Paradigm Shift. That is, sorry, Section 6. We've got Bravo, which is in, oh, sorry, that must not be it. Somewhere there is someone hiding. Captain Blood, which is in the level 35 section. We've got Flying Buffalo, which is in Section 10. Again, these are virtual leaders on the course, unofficial. There's lots of math going on behind the scenes to calculate this, so do stay in touch. Um, section 9, and I'll show you the results in, in just a section, uh, <laughs> just a second, uh, so that you can see how to, uh, how to look them up for yourself as the day wears on here. And here's one more little crown. Cerulean and Cruising 3, all the way back by the Fox Islands. Wow, with how many miles to go? Oh, you know what? There's looks like there's a mistake there. That says 0, 0.0 nautical miles to go. So I think Cerulean is probably being calculated wrong, and I wouldn't count them as a cruising three uh, leader at this point. I'll check into that with Yellow Brick later on. Okay, so uh, as far as results are concerned, here are the results by division. Um, provisionally, uh, with lots of boats to go in the trophy division, which has a smaller boat, so lots of boats to go here. Um, the Benetou 36.7s are in the lead. Tequila Mockingbird won that section. Congratulations to Chris Duhon. Great guy. I used to sail with him when he sailed on Tried and True, um, putting together a great program there. Uh, in the cruising division, Perico um, with Ryan Johnson is in the provisional lead. Again, we still have uh, boats on the course. So uh, that is absolutely provisional. And um, let's see what happens as the rest of the boats come in. In the Matt Cup, Natalie J, uh, Transpac 52 by Philip and Sharon O'Neill, finished yesterday afternoon and really was, you know, a fantastic race. The Transpac 52s had great conditions, sailed very, very well, and uh, kept right up with uh, the uh, overall leaders of the race who, who are, are faster boats in, in certain conditions. Certainly, Arite and Il Mostro have the potential to go faster um, than the Transpac 52s, and they did a great job. And then a multi-hull panic, panic button um, ha has corrected into the lead over Arite. Uh, I believe actually, yeah, all of the multi-hulls are finished, so we can, unless there's some sort of adjustments to the results uh, before the, they're finalized, um, they are looking good. Um, by the way, some adjustments that could happen to the results would be, for instance, the um, boats getting redressed for the Hoodoo incident yesterday. Um, so something like that may happen. Please watch the results. To watch the results, you go to cycracetomackinaw.com right here, and you can look at them. I have them up by division right now. You go to the race, uh, race, so let's uh, go to the race, hover over, go to results, and then you can do by division or by section. Here's what the results by section look like. So you can look uh, at the section. They're listed by corrected time. Um, in the handicap sections, obviously that's important. In the one design sections, that's not important. 
congratulations to all the section winners. Um, this is going to become too long of a video if I talk about them all right now, but um, I have a lot of friends, uh, a lot of colleagues, uh, a lot of sailors that I've sailed with or against over years in here, and it is an amazing feeling to, to win or place in your section in the back, so congratulations. Um, the forecast hasn't changed a ton from what I showed you last night. We are talking westerly winds. We're talking decent breezes for the day. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on forecast charts as it's, as I said, pretty much a parade. Right now, uh, White Shoal is west-southwest. Again, see, it looks a little more westerly to me on the boats, but the, the meteorological instruments are saying west-southwest uh, at 17 knots. So we're seeing, that's where we're seeing nice breezes and nice speeds coming into the bridge. And then on the other side of the bridge, well, here's the, there's a station right by the bridge here. Um, and we're at 11.7 knots. That's more west at 280. That makes more sense to me. And then right here in the Mac City Marina, the wind is west-southwest at 8 gusting 12. I think that one's overland a little bit, just a little teeny tiny bit. Um, so west, west-southwest winds, decent velocities. Uh, boats are moving, boats are finishing. And uh, in the next few hours, the race should really wrap up. Um, have a great day, and I'll be uh, keeping an eye on Facebook and look forward to speaking to you. Thanks. Bye.